Hey there, Kiryu-san. Are you here for a drink? You, uh, sure that'll be okay? No need to worry about me. <laughs> oh, please. But, since you're already here, there just so happens to be a seat right next to me. Great. I'll take you up on that. So, Saiko, you're a mama over at a cabaret club? I'm not just a mama. I'm the owner of the whole joint. After the previous owner passed away, one thing led to another and I ended up taking over. The younger girls are usually the ones serving the customers, but sometimes I lend them a hand too. <laughs> Guess I should be paying you for this conversation then. Mm-hmm. Cough it up, mister. But I guess you did help us out before, Kiryu-san, so... <laughs> Let's just call it even. I won't be taking any money from you. Oh, whoops. I should be calling you Suzuki-san instead, right? It'd make me happy if you could call me by my real name around our friends. There aren't any enemies here anyway. Sounds good. That's easier for me, too. Well, I can't speak for the rest of our motley crew, but I'll just call you Kiryu-san. You know, you give off this air of sophistication, even when you're sipping a drink. You look like such a gentleman. Same goes to you. You look like the very picture of elegance, sitting here, drinking alone. <laughs> oh, yeah? <sighs> Maybe working at the club has actually sucked the youth out of me. I'm sure that it takes more than youth and vigor alone to become a successful business owner. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe that's why the men who come on to me are starting to change up their pickup lines. Really now? How so? Well, they don't stop at dating. And by that, I mean they start hinting at marriage. Or, you know, things like that. Those are some intense customers. They're not like that at all around the younger girls. But I seem to attract a lot of customers like that. The type of guy who's looking to get hitched. Uh, guess that means I'm at the right age for that. People are starting to look at me that way now. At least that's the sort of vibe I get. Actually, get this. One of the guys hitting on me is pretty rich, and he has a lot going for him. Sounds like you don't mind that at all. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Honestly, I'm not looking to get married. I'm plenty satisfied with how my life is right now. On the other hand, there's my twin sister. I keep thinking she needs to tie the knot with her boyfriend and settle down already. I mean, she's at the perfect age to get married. If she doesn't hurry, she'll let the chance slip by. Something's not adding up here. If she's your twin, wouldn't that make her the same age as you? I know, I know. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. I'm aware I've just been making excuses, trying to justify myself. As long as you know, I won't comment. <laughs> By the way... Hmm? Did Ichiban say anything about me when you guys were in Hawaii? Let me think. But why do you ask? Are you worried about him? Well, not exactly. I just haven't talked to him in a while. <laughs> he did something that pissed me off. And how long is a while? N nah, just leave it. All that matters is that he's doing okay. Besides, this is Ichiban we're talking about. No matter where he goes, I can't imagine him being anything but his stubborn, cheerful self. Hear you, son? What's up? Why'd you get all quiet? You've got something to say to Kasuga. I'll hear you out. I don't mind playing the messenger. Something I want to say to him? Uh, I, I can't really think of anything, though. But thank you for that. It doesn't have to be right now. Offer is valid whenever you want. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Yeah, of course. What can I say to that? You know, if I keep spending more time with you, Kasuga might get upset. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not like that at all. The two of us are just friends. 
Sure. Well, let's drink again sometime when we get the chance. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Not at all. I'd love to, in fact. Just make sure your health doesn't get any worse, Kiryu-san. You got it. I look forward to doing this again. Yeah, same here. It's been fun. It's gotta be hard calling me Suzuki all the time. You can call me Kazuma if you want. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do that. Might be a little awkward if the two of us were suddenly on a first name basis. <laughs> Fair enough. You don't have to call me Suzuki, by the way. Just put it out of your mind. Okay, roger that. Sorry for giving you even more trouble. I appreciate that you're sticking it out, knowing how busy you are. Anyway, don't worry about my fake name. You can just call me Kiryu. Alrighty, I'll do just that then. Sound good, Kiryu-san? Yeah. Did something happen between you and Kasuga? I'll help you out if you need a hand. Oh, no. <laughs> it's nothing like that. Alright. But you let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Got that? <laughs> You're a real compassionate guy, Kiryu-san. Kinda reminds me of Ichiban. <laughs> Talking about another man even though you're drinking with me? Makes me feel a little bad. Oh, um, oh, sorry about that. That was super insensitive of me. <laughs> I was just kidding. But I guess that only made you more worried? Well, when I think about stuff we have in common, <laughs> he is the first thing that comes to mind. Let's just talk about something else. <laughs> we are on the same team, aren't we? Hey, Psycho. Mind if I join you for a drink? Yeah, go ahead. I've been saving this seat just for you, Kiryu-san. Gotta keep an eye on the sickly, you know. Make sure he's not drinking too much. That's so. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. When you're hitting on a woman, are you the attentive type? The kind of man who takes care of all of her needs? Hmm. I'd say so, yeah. But not to the point where I'd embarrass myself. Have you ever given someone a bouquet? That's not my style. I've never done that myself, but I think it's actually pretty bold. Okay, but if a guy gave you enough roses to nearly fill your room every single day, that'd be crazy, right? And crazy expensive to boot. Guys like that only exist in soap operas. I've never heard of anyone doing that. Really? Huh, that's surprising. I figured that was pretty normal during the bubble era. Hosts may have done that sort of thing for their clients, but that's all staged. Again, like a soap opera. So what's with the rose talk? Did some guy actually try to woo you with a bouquet or two? <laughs> You're pretty sharp, Kiryu-san. That is spot on. <sighs> He must be quite the character, then. All right, I'm listening. So what kind of guy is he? He's the CEO of some consulting firm that just started up here in Ijincho. He's young, only like a year older than me. After his first visit to the club, he asked me on a date, and I figured it wouldn't hurt to say yes. And ever since then, he's been sending me a ton of roses every day, to my club and to my home. It doesn't really bother me, and I just feel bad if I told him off for it. You shouldn't, though. Was this pretty recent? Yeah, like, since last month. The guy seems head over heels for you. Those flowers can't be cheap, either. And on top of that, he even slips in stuff like marriage and our future whenever we're having a conversation. So this CEO guy is the same customer who was pressing you about getting hitched? Yep. I mean, honestly, he was a great guy on our date, and he does seem to know how to treat a woman. He's attentive, and he never runs out of things to talk about. And he's funny, too. Some girls might even call him perfect. Seems like you don't think too badly of Mr. CEO, either. 
Huh. Does it come off that way? Oh, yeah. That reminds me. What's up? I heard Ichiban is doing just fine over there. He's uh, hanging around with that one girl, right? Chitose-chan? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's she like? Well, she's the kind of girl who won't be phased by a ton of roses. At the very least, money won't do much to impress her. She's a rich girl, right? I hear she's the daughter of the Fujinomiya family. For someone like her, Ichiban probably seems like a breath of fresh air. Probably. But she is a great girl. Chitose-chan more or less stripped Ichiban of everything he owned and threw him out, right? Wasn't he being way too careless? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, he went all the way to Hawaii to meet his mom. <sighs> he should have kept his head on straight. But Kasuga wasn't seduced by her. He only got his drink spiked. On top of that, she told him she was Akane-san's housekeeper. I don't think he had much reason to suspect her. Yeah, he let his guard down. But I wouldn't blame him. Uh-huh. So you're taking Ichiban's side, Kiryu-san? <laughs> that man never changes. I'm not sure if it's because he's gullible or what. It's hard to leave him alone, isn't it? Incredibly. <laughs> I know from personal experience. He bears his heart to anyone, so I'm positive he doesn't look at Chitose in the way you think he does. Does that make you feel any better? What? <laughs> look, if Ichiban's getting friendly with a cute girl over in Hawaii, I'm happy for him. Really. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. I'll drop the subject then. And what are you chuckling at? What's so funny, huh? Ugh, that does it. I'm gonna drink all night long. I don't know if it's just your age talking or what, but that calm attitude of yours just pissed me off. Heck, how would you like it if I stripped you down today, Kiryu-san? <laughs> Careful. I'm a sick man, remember? Have mercy on me. Hey, what are you smirking about? I don't mean to sound harsh or anything, but... Anyone could do that if they had the money. Sending her flowers every day doesn't necessarily mean you're making her happy. Yeah, I get what you mean. You make a good point, even if the truth hurts. I'm with you there, but maybe I should have tried that back in the day. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Well, I'm sure you could still pull it off, so don't take yourself out of the game just yet. Anyone would be thrilled to get flowers from you, Kiryu-san. Honestly, it's kind of cute when a guy tries his best not to act embarrassed. Right. Whatever you say. Chitose is the daughter of the Fujinomiya family, so you could say that she's pretty unique. That's what I've heard too. Being born into a family like that is already way impressive. At first I thought she was just a petty thief. Kasuga and I both got played by her. Oh, she's a wonderful young woman, but she's not as lovely as you. Where did that come from? <laughs> you flatterer. Boy, you sure know how to make a girl feel special. Honestly, I'd probably tell Chitosu the same thing if she asked me that. Really now? You're gonna play with my feelings like that? Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> Seems I don't know how to treat a lady after all. Maybe I ought to consult this CEO of yours. Hey, Psycho. Did you just get here? Yeah, but something's been bugging me. Can't even get a nice buzz. You all right? What's bugging you? Uh, it's that whole dating thing we talked about last time. You know, with that consulting firm CEO? Right, him. Still going on about marriage, I take it. That he is. I guess there's no time to rest for the popular. I don't think he drops by the club for fun, either. He's just there, hitting on me the whole time. He doesn't even glance at the younger girls. Sure, he looks like a womanizer, but at least he's got money. 
His business seems to be doing well, too. I just don't get why he's so focused on me. Hmm. You think he's got an ulterior motive? Hmm. I've got some money saved up, just like anyone else, but this guy's definitely better off than me. So if it's not about the money, then that means he fell for my beauty, charm, and intellect. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Knowing all that, I can say this with full confidence. That man is just crazy for you. Well, even so, I'm not really thinking about marriage. My club might be on the small side, but I like being able to run things my way. I've even told him myself that I'm not planning to get married. But he's pressing so hard, it makes me wonder if he's after something, you know? Is it safe to assume that he's probably got some kind of hidden motive? Cause it is a little creepy. Hey, whatever happens, I'll protect you. Doesn't matter what he's got in mind, he's not harming a single hair on your head. Not with me there. <laughs> no way. You, you don't have to do all that for me, Kiryu-san. Yeah? I can't help it, though. I'm always ready to defend my friends. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought, at least. But honestly, it is possible that he just likes me. Go easy on the poor guy. This guy is... Well... <sighs> I told you that he founded a consulting firm, right? But he's also the son of a CEO of another large company. Judging by his background alone, you could say he's set for life. But even though he's wealthy, he tries not to rely on his parents. It seems like he really struggled on his own for a while. You know, it's starting to sound like you admire the guy. It's easy to figure out who's struggled in life once you get a conversation rolling. In that respect, he's not just another rich kid. He can be serious, but he can also let loose and have fun. I think people like him are pretty reliable. Ugh, I've had enough rose bouquets for a lifetime, though. Now, this is just something my imagination cooked up. But I can see Kasuga doing his own thing with roses, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna get him anywhere, though, because he doesn't understand what really matters. Well, at least with him, you wouldn't have to worry about a hidden motive. He'd make it too obvious. He's not such a bad guy. Uh, okay. You know, Kiryu-san, sounds to me like you're trying to talk him up. Let me guess. You heard something, didn't you? Like, oh, I don't know, how Ichiban asked me out on a date? Yeah, I know the gist of it since I was with him in Hawaii the whole time. Right. Figures you'd hear something. Sounds like something happened on your date? Yeah, sure was something. He proposed to me on her first date of all things. No kidding. That's a very Kasuga thing to do. But I assume it didn't go well, considering you're not on speaking terms. It did not, no. Ichiban just kept going on and on about what he wanted us to be when we got married. Obviously shows how much he's thought about it. Yeah, I know he can be a bit awkward when it comes to this kind of stuff. But honestly speaking, that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. But you weren't against a proposal? Well, we've known each other for a long time. I guess Ichiban figured his feelings wouldn't change. Not then and not in the future. Hmm, so I take it you didn't completely hate the idea. Well, truth be told, it got my heart fluttering. I'm pretty sure that I was feeling just as nervous as Ichiban was that day. No kidding. Right now, I'm the one getting all worked up listening to this. Yeah, I know, right? Ugh, enough of that. Seriously, how do we always end up talking about Ichiban when we're drinking together? Yeah, I guess we do. <sighs> Let's talk about your love life for a change, Kiryu-san. Anything new with you? I've been a sick, lonely man for a good while now, but... I had my fair share of romance in the past. 
Oh, yeah? I'm listening. Well, a long time ago. Soon after I was placed in foster care. She arrived. The moment I laid eyes on her, I felt something special between us. In the past, I was innocent, eager. But then... But then? Uh, <clears throat> it'll take me more than a day or two to get through this story. That and, uh, I'm starting to doze off. What? Seriously? That is so not fair. I'll make time to tell you the whole story, once I'm in better shape. Uh-huh, sure. And when will that be? I'm gonna have you schedule that for a later date, then. <laughs> Don't ask for the impossible. Once you get to my age, you never know when you'll be in good shape again. <laughs> Don't give me such a half-assed excuse, then. Complain all you want. I'm not budging. Tell me more about this guy. Might be able to figure out what he's up to that way. I looked into him myself, but I didn't find anything too sketchy. Are you a little scared of falling in love? Oh, I... I don't know. I've never thought of it that way. <laughs> I doubt I'll ever experience true love myself, though. For better or worse, I've met my fair share of men back when I was a hostess. I'm sure most of them were all over the women, too. I can understand why you'd want to lump all men together. But among them, there has to be one guy who loves you for you. No strings attached. Hard to tell if he's one of them. He pissed you off during the date, didn't he? Huh? The other day you told me that you got pissed at him. Because of that, you haven't talked to him in a while. Oh, <laughs> You remembered all that. I want to hear your side of the story. I've only overheard Kasuga and Nanba talking. So nobody told you anything about it? Well, we were pretty busy over in Hawaii. We had to rush through an entire laundry list of things to get them done. But now I finally have room to breathe. And to drink. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Okay, got it. Don't worry about that. Just let me know straight away from now on. Yeah, thanks. What's up? Is there a problem? Yeah, something came up at the club. I don't want to bore you with the details, Kiryu-san. I can't ignore my friends when they're in trouble. If you've got a problem, there is no way I'm turning a blind eye to it. Really? Wow. Kind of happy to hear that. It's just a minor issue, honestly, but those do tend to pair perfectly with some drinks. Is there anything I can do to help? Sadly, no. I, I don't think so. So, a problem at the club, was it? That usually means sales aren't up to snuff, or the staff got headhunted. Or sometimes you'll have the Yakuza harassing you, trying to make you cough up protection money. I hear the Seiryu clan hasn't been going around doing that lately. Really now? Good to hear. But yeah, one of our business rivals is headhunting our girls. Of course, that's not illegal here in Ijincho. Since the economy's down, everyone's desperate to survive. How many girls did they poach from you? So far, just the one. But it looks like they approached four or five other girls. That's no minor issue. If they all get headhunted, we're done for. I taught these girls everything they know. We won't be able to keep the club running without them. But that's not the worst of it. People are saying I'm trying to close up shop, which only makes it easier to drive these girls away from us. Wait, they're saying what now? Rumor has it that I'm totally on board with marrying that consulting firm CEO. It's true he hasn't been subtle about it, so other people assume I'm happy about the whole thing. That makes the rumor about me shutting down the club seem more plausible. If that's really the case, then no wonder the girls think it'd be better to move to another club. And the cherry on top? Nobody told me about the headhunting right away because they cared about my happiness. In fact, 
they finally let me know in that last phone call. Really? And you didn't want to tell me? This is getting out of hand. Honestly, I'm more shocked that my girls kept this from me. Especially because I figured telling them to open up to me would be the best way to keep things casual. By the way, is it just me or is there just too fine a line between caring and being overbearing lately? When you climb up to a higher position, that may create a rift between you and other people. It happens. But something's bugging me about the headhunting. Huh? What about it? Don't you think this could all be a setup? A setup? By who? The person who called you just now. Maybe they were just saying they were looking out for you, but they've been in cahoots with your business rivals all along. Hmm. I would pick my next words very carefully if I were you. I was talking to my right-hand woman. We've worked together for years, so I trust her a lot. Ah, I see. Well, if we're talking about trust, and there is one other person who seems pretty shady to me. Oh yeah? Who is it this time? The CEO of the consulting firm who's been pursuing you. It all makes sense. His constant proposals made it easier for the girls to leave the club. You really think so? All the girls at your club were trained by you, so they likely feel a deep sense of gratitude. Normally, they wouldn't be persuaded so easily. They would have reported to you right away, so you could deal with it appropriately. Yeah, that's how it should have gone, but... Mm, too much of a stretch? I've told you before, right? That CEO's loaded, so he's not exactly strapped for cash. Why would someone like that be headhunting hostesses? Uh, that's true. And I don't mean to flatter myself here, but he takes each and every proposal seriously. If this was some kind of marriage scam, I would have seen right through him. Can't argue against that. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to blow up at you. But I'll look into this incident anyway, just in case, to see if he's involved. Sorry if I offended you. I crossed the line even though I don't know much about running a business. It's fine. <laughs> no offense taken. You're pretty much the only one who'd hear me out on these kinds of things lately, Kiryu-san. I'm glad I could lend you an ear. Feel free to try and bore me all you want. I think I might take you up on that. <laughs> I've got time. Go on. Talk to me. No need to keep quiet. Should I really be consulting the legendary Yakuza about something this trivial? It sounded pretty important when you were on the phone earlier. Oh, I can't believe you heard that. <sighs> How embarrassing. Guess I've still got a lot to learn as a business owner. Hey, don't go changing the subject now. You've got every right to keep this thing a secret, but fair warning, secrets only get me more interested. Well, I do love keeping a man in suspense. The look on his face, ugh, priceless. What great taste you have. Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Your business rivals, no doubt. The club that's been headhunting. They're the ones who stand to benefit the most. Well, yeah. Isn't that pretty obvious? Since you said this whole thing was a setup, I thought we were wrapped up in some kind of twisted conspiracy. Right. Good point. But if we're talking about conspiracy, then I can think of one person who may be leading this operation. Oh, yeah? Who is it this time? Yeah, but is that really true? I I just can't believe it. Gotcha. I guess I was wrong about the whole thing. I'll go check it out myself. Depending on how things go, this could mean war. Looks like something happened with Psycho-san. 
Yeah, something alarming at that. Especially if it means war. If I recall correctly, the two of you have talked about it before. About how her girls being headhunted may have been part of a ploy? That's right. I guess the CEO who's been fawning over her was behind everything. Not so sure about that. It's hard to say, going by that phone call alone. Um, excuse me. Are you Suzuki-san? Thanks for looking out for our mama. Who? You talking to me? Who else would she be talking to? You're the only Tai Chi Suzuki here. You mentioned your mama. I'm guessing you're one of Psycho's girls? Yeah, she was just here, right? I came to stop her from rushing into trouble, but she hung up before I could get a word in. So the person Psycho was talking to... Yep, it was me. What's going on? Right, you know that CEO making a move on our mama? Turns out he has connections with the rival club. The rich guy with a consulting firm? Yeah, him. Apparently he and the manager of the rival club ran in the same circles back in college. Mr. CEO was always looking out for him. Anyway, it sounds like the club manager asked his old pal to keep hounding our mama to keep her from noticing all the headhunting. So Saiko went to give those guys a piece of her mind. That's where you thought she'd be in trouble, right? Yeah, she sounded pretty pissed, so I figured I had to stop her. All right, I'll go check on her then. Do you know where this club is? Oh, yeah, I do, actually. I can't believe you've been wasting my time. So tell me, was everything just a ruse so you could pick apart my whole crew? Well, guess this is the end of the line. <laughs> you caught me. I did help him headhunt for his club, yes. It was a request from an old friend, see? He always comes to me whenever he's in a pinch. Sorry about all this. I'll clean up this mess. It's fine, but Psycho-san, listen. I know you're angry, but I think there's been a little misunderstanding. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure there is. But now that I know what you're after, I can see right through you. You're just a pair of scumbags. Hey, watch your mouth. My friend here makes millions in a month. And you're just a mama from some cheap-ass club. <laughs> what, you expect me to change my tune just because he's filthy rich? This is between me and him, so buzz off, dumbass! You bitch! <laughs> Guess you didn't need my help after all. That's quite a face you're making, Saigo. Oh. Hey, Kiryu-san. Why are you here? I got word you were pissed at a guy for using you, but... You seem to be keeping a cool head. Well, yeah. I just want them to quit snatching up my girls. Well, that and having them swear never to do that again. Right. So that's why you got yourself a bodyguard. But that makes things easier for us. You know, since I'd rather not lay a hand on a lady and all. Can we not? I didn't come here to deal with you. I don't want to get dragged into this either. At least, wait until I leave? No can do, man. Got hit him hard and fast to come out on top. The guy's hired by THE Saiko Makoda. Bet she's got something up her sleeve. This old man's probably gonna put up a good fight. Uh, hold on. I think you've got the wrong idea now. Just FYI, you're messing with the wrong person. I can't tell you his name, but I'm warning you, he's strong enough to be called a legend. <laughs> like I'm falling for that. Come on, boys! Time to shut him up! Get him! <sighs> What the hell are you? I did say you messed with the wrong guy. Wait, please! I really can't fight or anything! This has all been a misunderstanding, Psycho-san! Give it up already, won't you? The manager here asked you to toy with me, didn't he? You think I was in a rush to get married since I'm right at that age? So you played it up thinking I'd bite? Just a second. Why do you insist Psycho's misunderstanding something? Spit it out. I, I admit it. 
At first, I did try to get close to Psycho-san at my friend's behest. He wanted me to draw your attention. That way he could poach all the girls you've trained yourself. As for me, I thought I could have some fun with a young, beautiful mama who works hard to earn her money with her own club. Ugh, can you hurry up and get to the point already? Because you're just adding fuel to the fire right now. I, I, I apologize. I, just please, let me say my piece. <sighs> Fine, I'm listening. After dating you, I, I started to fall for you. Your personality and your business philosophy, and that's when I realized if I were to find a partner for life, I can't see myself with anyone but you. What are you saying? Do you truly hate me, Psycho-san? I was kind of hoping I still stood a chance, however slight. I've got money and the looks, if I do say so myself. My business is doing well, and I love kids. And I fully understand that my personality needs some fixing. Wade, are you seriously trying to propose to her right now? I am. I hadn't been interested in marriage at all, not until recently. Too many women have tried to get close to me, their eyes set on the fortune I've made. But Psycho-san is different from them. Uh... She cared not a whit for my money. She's always brimming with confidence, even when she relies on someone else. You're beautiful and thoughtful. With someone like you at my side, I'm sure I could learn how to support another. In the beginning, I had considered it a ridiculous farce, but now I believe we could create the perfect family together. That doesn't sound like such a bad deal, right? You could even drop your modest little club. I guarantee that my old friend will take good care of your girls at his place. From a business perspective, surely you understand how this would benefit you. What bullshit. Huh? I'm done listening to your stupid, long-winded excuse, so now you listen to me. First, run off to that little friend of yours. Tell him not to come near my girls. Ever. If he tries to pull another stunt like that again, he's as good as dead in this town. I'll crush that little club of his and kick you two out of Eugene Cho myself. But uh, what about my proposal? I'm not done talking. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, but your words didn't get my heart racing. But I admit, it takes balls to propose given your current situation. Maybe that would have worked on some other girl, but not me. But if you keep coming on to me, I will humiliate you so badly you will never recover from the shame. Oh God! Don't you ever come looking for me again, if you know what's best for you. It's over. Goodbye. You're a tough one. Guess I didn't need to check on you. Unbelievable! Like, seriously, do I only attract guys like him? They all try to weigh marriage with pros and cons, but I don't see a single goddamn pro from my end. Ugh! Idiots! All of them! This isn't a joke! Sometimes that's just how it is. I'm a businesswoman. I have my priorities sorted, unlike most guys. Agreed. But maybe you ought to slow down. You're drinking too much too fast. Well, excuse me, but I am pretty depressed right now. Is that how marriage proposals go nowadays? Or, or am I just old-fashioned? Hmm? Old-fashioned how? Well, when I think of marriage, I think of a place two lovers end up after affirming their feelings for one another. But that CEO and even Ichiban. Yeah? They both said the same thing, like how they'd make me happy and what sort of dream we could live out together. But there's something more important than all of that. Why didn't he realize that? And he thought he could get away with it after knowing me for so long. Look, maybe this is just my imagination. Uh-huh. The CEO and Kasuga's proposals. 
They both sounded the same to you, didn't they? I mean, Ichiban's was probably worse, but yeah, they were pretty similar. Especially when it comes to saying what mattered most to me. I figured as much. What makes you say that? I've spent a lot of time with Kasuga in Hawaii. His awkwardness aside, I do admire his passion. And by now, after having a few drinks with you, I can imagine what sort of date you went on and what you guys talked about. I'm sure he was spinning his wheels, trying so hard to convince you. Unfortunately, every point he made to win you over all meant the same thing to you. That there won't be a single con. And that wasn't what you wanted to hear when he was proposing, was it? But you can't bring yourself to tell him that you wanted to hear something else. Because of that, you spent all this time not talking to him. You really think so? <laughs> Actually, maybe you're right. Maybe that's what this is all about. I can't answer that question for you. But I do have one piece of advice. Nobody knows when their life will be over. One day, you might be told your days are numbered. Oh, care you, son. When you're young, you think you have all the time in the world. But the clock's ticking. I don't recommend you end things the way they are. <sighs> That's all I have to say. Thank you, Kiryu-san. No need to thank me. That was just the ravings of an old man. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> you know, I really loved my grandpa, so you can keep going on about the good old days if you want. Hey now, I was just being modest there. Don't actually treat me like any other old man. <laughs> yes, sir. Anyway, I'll slow down so we can take our time drinking. Come on, how about a toast? To what? Hmm, let's see. To this very moment, to enjoy the rest of our lives to the fullest. Not bad. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. Kiryu-san, thanks for hearing me out so much lately. I really appreciate all the advice. You're constantly there for me, and yet I haven't done anything for you. That's not true. Getting to know you better, fighting side by side, it's all been wonderful. I feel like I've gotten to see the real Saiko. And I've learned a lot from you too. Though you might be a little stubborn at times. You know, I was gonna say that sweet of you, but then you kept going. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Still, I do want to give back somehow. To that end, I'm around any time you need. Let me know if there's anything I can do. I'll be there to help. Thanks. And yeah, let's keep this up, you and me. I'm sure I'll need advice down the line, so be ready. <laughs> Deal. <laughs>